This is how your baby could possibly come out looking. This man was not cute as a kid at all. I mean, he's not cute as an adult to me, but definitely wasn't as a kid. I'm going down my timeline today and I see some video about Rihanna or of Rihanna on my timeline, guys. And child, I thought it was just a birthday announcement. I think it's his birthday or whatever. But then I read the caption. Or, no, I'm sorry. I'm like, y'all, I go to the comments. Okay, that's why comments are very important. I go to, the, I went to the comments first and I was like, oh my gosh, baby. So I went on and I watched it and yes, y'all. Ms. Brianna is pregnant. She's pregnant, okay? So you see my boy, my boy, try you see my boy, my boy, try to make sure y'all come to my divorce freak me party, March 29th at NG Tavern, Mall of Georgia. She's pregnant, okay? So, look, congratulations to her and y'all. Now, however, you know how I look do. like Michael Jackson. I <laughs> look like Michael Jackson. I'm ready for the world. However, ready for you know how I do on this channel. We're going to keep it real. So, let me get this straight. In less than two years, she has had a lot of drama going on, right? She had the issue with her husband. Now she's divorced. And now she has a oh, word third to put in? Now I'm daddy. Over, nigga. So, Brianna, um, everything good with you? Yeah, see, you see this? Nah, we can't do this no more. Can't go Baby daddy. So she is on baby daddy number three. Of course, John now look elated, okay? This is supposedly his first child, and his mom was there too, and all of that. And, um, but comfortable being a baby mama. But let's. Cool, sis. Now you stuck with Jarnell and his issues with his breath. Okay? That's your baby daddy. Baby. Okay? That's your baby daddy for life. Whether y'all break up today or tomorrow, you are stuck with him because you have a seed together. What? Hey y'all, it's your girl Tay with the T and you know you about to get these sips straight from me. Now, it's official. I know you seen it. I displayed it. Other people have played it. But yes, Brianna is definitely pregnant. I guess she finally got what she wanted out of the ordeal or I guess that's what makes relationships real in her eyes when she has a kid by a certain guy or with the guy because it seems like every relationship she gets in there's a kid to match it well they said that first one might be kind of you know but anyway she has three baby daddies as we speak right now the last two years have been crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, you went through a crazy divorce, right? You went through a crazy divorce, which we all watch. You're not forced to stay in a relationship with anybody by far. If you feel like that's not something you want to do, then cool, move on. But what happens to the healing process, boo? You 
went from a shoulder to cry on to a penis to ride on within a couple of days or within a couple of weeks. And it's crazy for me because there's already kids in this situation where you are now creating another situation. You just finished going back and forth the court through a divorce, right? You still fighting on the factors of sister still trying ain't you still trying to figure out this co-parenting thing with Robert now mind you you give it <laughs> I gotta laugh because this is really some crazy shit no, normally you see stuff like this in the movies you understand this is really somebody's life like sis went from pit bulls and pistols to totes now she with chokes and breath. Help me understand that because the things that we see her write to the message, write in the messages to her friends. This is who her child father is going to be, right? So the things that you said about this man, that mean you will be comfortable with forever. Possibly, well, at least for 18 years. But anyway, my thing is, I guess, you know, some women don't feel like a relationship is legit unless they bring a kid into it. But I don't think that right now was a good time to bring a kid into this situation. Now, don't get it twisted. A baby is definitely a blessing. Okay, so blessings to the baby. But. When you doing things as an adult, you have to definitely make sure you're making the right decisions. And I feel like this was a decision that was forced instead of a decision that was actually planned or made. It seemed like this girl been trying to get pregnant for the last year and a half. Remember we seen the little brown liquid and the all of that? Yeah, all of that. We seen all of that. So the facts for me still remain I can't wait to see how this situation is going to turn out baby I'm not wishing no bad on nobody because that's not the type of person that I am I wish the best for everybody even them now hopefully if the situation doesn't work she do, he doesn't be the, na the, the next person going on a, a two year hiatus because she done put out there how he done did some things to her that possibly may not be true. Now, the thing about the situation before the baby came along, if you leave, it's just you. Now, you're tied into a situation too. You have become a part of the group. Jarnell is now part of the group. So now when he leaves, she don't have to send him messages talking about the next man kid is crying for him. She'll actually be able to send a message saying that your baby is crying for you or wants you or however it goes. They live in the same household at this point. Let's, let, let's just be clear. So they're playing house, right, to be fair. Um, you just got out of a marriage to become somebody's baby mother. You got out of a marriage to become somebody's baby mother. I'll say it again because I need to understand. Now, the fact is for me, where is this going to leave Lil Mosey? Because you know she's been the attention-seeking child for the last two years now. She's been what the focus has been on. So now that this baby is coming along, is the focus going to change? Well, I wish they would stop playing games with Mosky anyway, because I don't think it's kind of cute to be doing some of the things that they do, like letting a little girl sit on a grown man's lap that's not her dad. Some dads after a certain age don't even let their own daughters do that. Less more a man that did not conceive that baby, if you understand what I mean. Now, hopefully, hopefully, I'm saying hopefully, because like I said, Tay wishes the best for everybody. So hopefully, I'm praying that things actually work out for the best and it don't turn out to be like this last mess. Because after um, so many tries, 
hopefully a person do get it right and get what it is that they looking for out of life. Maybe this may be the man in her plan. I mean, who to say? I can't say, you can't say, who are we to be able to speak on how another person feels? We thought that this situation wasn't even real. Like, we thought that it was just something to do to bother the truth. But I guess she went all the way through because now she's having a baby by him too. Now, the thing is for a man... Would you be kind of scared if the last person that was in the situation said that they got trapped into the situation that they was in? Because from the looks of that little gathering, she was the happiest person there. She was the happiest person there. Everybody else seemed with in shock. And I'm talking about Jarnell's mother, the other woman in the room, right? Um, she didn't want to be rude. In that situation. But it was like. Oh shit. Oh shit. We stuck with this bitch. Like. uh, She finally did it. She finally did it. She trapped him. Now my thing is. People could say trap and this that and the third. But when a man is willfully sleeping with a woman. Unprotected. He also knows what comes with it. So if he willfully was sleeping with that woman unprotectedly, then he knew that there was going to be a chance at some point there was going to be a baby. And for all we know, or what we don't know, maybe the situation was planned. They has they have been kind of quiet. But now my thing is, right? Being that we're moving on to the new dude and you're no longer on the truth. What y'all gonna do for views? Are y'all still going to eat off of Robert? I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how this is going to go. Please explain to Tech. And I just want to give thanks and, 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 and respect to the T page where I got this video from. Their name will be in the description because I think Brie blocked me. I think I got myself blocked, y'all. So I didn't even see it within my timeline. I just so happened to be on YouTube and I said, look her here. What is this? What is this that I almost missed? Well, being that I almost missed it, I wanted to make sure y'all didn't miss it. So I came to bring y'all this B and more S and hopefully this situation turns out for the best. And not like the last mess, if you understand what I'm saying. Hopefully, everybody done got everything off their chest within this situation. Because now, this situation is no longer a situation. You can't even put these two in a situation together anymore. It's no longer Brie and Latruth or Brie and Robert or Brie has anything to do with Robert. Robert no longer plays any part in that situation other than Amara. And if she can't even get that right or they can't even get that right, how is this new baby supposed to fit into the parts? I'm confused because now um, you're going to have a newborn baby and Jarnell is supposed to be an actor. So that means he'd be on the road. Are you going to be home alone? Because see, as a content creator, normally you used to working from home. See, that was the, the luxury that you had with Robert, right? Because he could stay home and he worked from his phone or his camera and the check or paycheck still came in. But now you with the man that has to dip in and dip out. Are you going to be able to handle that? See, it's different when right now, you know, y'all don't have no kids attached. You understand? Because he comes where you're at. He lives where you at, you might as well say, because he ain't been back to his establishment since that pretty brief situation. He said, she said, uh-uh, no more sleeping on that couch. I'm not going to your house to sleep on the couch where the next bitch said you was getting that spread. Anyway, as the deeds come, you know I'm going to drop them. 
Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Keep your girl alive. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Keep your girl alive. Yeah. And your girl is out. La 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 la